Hi everyone. The objectives of this video are to learn about the galvanic series and the galvanic cell. Okay, so the galvanic series to start is a series which ranks the reactivity of metals in seawater. So it's a relative scale which, in which we can rank different reactivities of metals from a scale of being anodic to cathodic, so having a tendency to give electrons as opposed to having a tendency to take electrons. Okay, so if we look at the scale here, as we move upwards on the list, we're going to be approaching cathodic or inert elements. As we move down the list, we're going to be approaching anodic or active behavior. So the general rule is, the further an element is away from another element on the series, the more reactive that relationship is going to be. So the further away equals more reactive. So for example, if we took silver, let's say, and something like aluminium alloys, well, it's going to be very reactive because there's quite a big difference between them. Whereas if we take something like, well, lead and some nickel, some passive nickel, well, it's going to have less of a reaction. It's still going to form a galvanic cell, but it's going to have less of a reaction. So let's have a look at this galvanic cell and put this into context. So a galvanic cell is a cell that derives electrical energy through oxidation and reduction reactions like we learned about in the previous video. 